Hello there, I'm Charlene and let me tell you my story. In December 2019, I decided to quit my job to go traveling the world. A few weeks later, I got to live with the most fascinating people I've ever met, the tribes of Ethiopia, and this powerful experience completely shaped my life. Then, I was seduced by the overlanding lifestyle when I was roaming in Southern Africa. I felt deeply free and wild. Caught by the pandemic in Botswana, I was back to Europe after seven unforgettable months. I knew I left my heart out there. So I decided to buy my own car, Rafiki, and to turn it into a true expedition for my phone. Today, I'm driving back to Africa. Guys, welcome on board. I maybe dreamed about this day a thousand times. It's been one and a half year, I'm getting ready to drive back to Africa. And this day has arrived on the 26th of January, it's time to realize my dream. It's not easy to say goodbye when you have absolutely no idea when you'll be back. But apparently, our imagination and hope become a reality if we have the courage to believe and take action to realize them. So welcome to my solo expedition to Africa. It's maybe nine in the morning and you can hear the tracks behind. <laughs> Look at that! Croatia! It's beautiful! Somewhere in the nature. I love this little road. Freedom is the most powerful tool to seek happiness. We might get lost along the way, but I can tell you that when you feel free and that one of your dreams come true, you will never be the same but the person you truly are.
this morning <laughs> I woke up to this look at that it was so windy and it was raining so bad I actually I was way too tired to open the tent well Croatia cannot be perfect right <laughs> now I need to go to the testing center of the airport of Dubrovnik uh, it's empty it's literally empty I parked Rafiki over there and uh, hopefully it won't take long I think like it's about 20 minutes to get the results to cross the border with Montenegro sheets they're all stuck here it's so windy tonight so I'm in a campsite well kind of and let's go outside
us, this time between Albania and North Macedonia. So let's see how it works. And again, it's only the possibility of having a dream come true that makes life interesting. So please, never give up and be free.